Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 118. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Magic Trick 107 to 119. Hey, uh, now this is going to be the hardest video ever that I've done here. Uh, the one, don't even bother watching this unless you've watched 117. We just did that formula right there. And a thanks to Aladdin from the Mr. Excel discussion board who helped me with the hard part here. This is a, a reverse two-way lookup. So our situation in the last video is we wanted we had this table, dates, dates, times, and these names. And we want to, given a name, retrieve a date and a time. In the last video, we retrieved the uh, date here. Now I want to edit this. And we're going to have to do a lot of fancy things to this because we want the, the date and the time in the cell. I'm going to hit F2 to put it in edit mode. Now the part that's delivering the date is this index right to there. Now we need to convert this to text and format it because we're going to end up concatenating, joining the time and the date together in a text string. And if you don't format the number, it comes in unformatted. And a date unformatted is a serial number. So we need to format this with the text function. So I'm going to put the text around the index and then come to the end and comma and the number format we want in quotes is m slash d slash year end quote and double quote and then close parentheses. Now control enter and that gives us a, an, uh, a value error F2 because I forgot to control shift enter. The control shift enter is how you enter an array formula. Now that's going to work just fine, but now we need to join uh, the same setup for a reverse two way lookup, but for the time. I'm going to double click and I'm going to cheat. I'm going to copy this whole text thing here right down to there and copy. Now we need that, but we also need. Uh, to paste this a second time and then change uh, the column to row and the uh, names date to time. I've named these in this one. This is named date. This uh, series of time values is named time. So I'm going to copy Control C. Then I'm very carefully click on the N and I'm going to start concatenating with the join symbol ampersand. And then in quotes, I need comma, space, end quote. Ampersand. So now all I've done is joined this uh, date with a comma and a space. Now there's the ampersand ready, so I'm going to control V and paste this next, uh, that same text function. We have a lot of editing to do though. Okay. Now we don't want this looking at date, remember, because uh, we were looking at date here, so we need to change it to this time over here. So this index is going to be time, and uh, you can um, type in time. Uh, I've named it time. And uh, this next part right here, this if, that's fine. The column, we can't use that. We have to use row because now these uh, times are in rows. And we have to change this to uh, time. And minus, and then this is a row. And that little D right there is referring to the first uh, cell here. But now we need the first cell in the uh, time. And I've named that T. And then we need to change this. Uh, that's fine column. We need to change this right here to instead of a date format, a time format. That would be hour colon minute minute space AM slash PM. Now, this will not work because the index, let's just click right here. The index screen tip says that that's an array, which it is. And then if we click right there, that's the row number, which is what we need. And that's the column number. So that won't work at all. We have to backspace because this is now delivering a row number instead of a column number. All right, now we're going to cross our fingers because this is a big, nasty one. We'll see if this even works. Control, Shift, Enter. And sure enough, if we uh, wrap text, we have, we're returning in reverse uh, two-way lookup the uh, time and date. I'm going to copy it over, and then I'm going to double click and send it down. I probably also have to highlight all of these and double click the rows and expand them. And sure enough, you've got to be kidding me. 
This person right here is name four. There's the date and the time. Now let's go add name four somewhere and see if it'll it'll appear there. Let's say 8 a.m. on the 12th name four. Do we come over here and is it there? Sure enough, there it is. So that's a way to have a table with some values, in this case patient, time, and dates. We put in the names and we want their, um, to the master list of patients, we want uh, the date and time. Now this re uh, two -way re re uh, reverse two-way lookup could work for any set of data. It doesn't have to be uh, patients. All right, uh, sorry for uh, that being so complex, but uh, that's that's the way it is, and thanks to Aladdin at the Mr. Excel discussion board. See you next trick.